Spurs getting it done against West Ham 2-1. Not the best uh, performance, I'd say, in the world, but absolutely it seems like we've got definitely more of a an edge about a us. A winning mentality. A winning mentality, better fitness. And it was funny, Dean, we were just having a chat in the uh, in the break and you actually you spoke to someone at Tottenham when Conte first come in. Yeah. And uh, what, what, what did he say? Tell well, us. Well, the, the Leeds game, I, I got it from one of the one of the players. The Leeds game, half time, they were getting beat, what, I think 1-0, they were getting beat. Yeah. Terrible. Yeah, bad performance. And he come in and everybody expects genius up-to-date tactics and whatever, you know, formation changes. Yeah. And he just said, look, I'm a bit worried about you physically, whether you can do what I'm about to ask you to do. But that's not worked, what we've just done. So he's got the he's got the flip chart, and he went, you play against him, you play against him, you play against him, you play against him, and you play against him. Let's see if man he fit man. enough. Yeah, man for man. Let's see if he fit enough. I'll find out now, won't I? If you win, you can have tomorrow off. Good luck. That was all. That's what he said. That was Antonio Conte. Yeah, and we won the game Conte. two. And won won the game two. Come out one. like a different team. Well, it, it does seem like they've got more of an edge now, has it? He seems like the the sprint distance definitely is better. We've saw the stats the other day. I saw it when I was at the game, and they, they've gone from being like 14th, 15th in the league in sort of running stats and sprint stats and all that sort of stuff that everyone keeps an eye now to being like in the top five. So it's yeah. been a massive distance, uh, difference since he's come in. So we want to hear from you. Uh, if you're a Spurs fan, you've been at the game, um, let us know what you think. Let's speak to GJ, who is a Spurs fan. GJ. Hi, GJ. How you doing, guys? You all right? Yeah, we're good. We're good. What did you make of it tonight? Well, uh, to be honest with you, I'm very annoyed with that performance tonight. I thought we should have smashed them. And I've been saying to all my West Ham mates at work and that I said we're going to smash you tonight and I said we're a way better side than you and how can you um, say that GJ how can you say that come on West Ham West Ham have been having a great season well you know to be honest with you I mean I, I think I think okay let's look at it West Ham scored a very poor goal that was Eric Dyer making an he had an absolute brain fart for that goal um, we we created two great goals. Son should have scored a clear third, and he he obviously miscontrolled it. But I thought Conte made some poor subs because he's obviously got hyped at the weekend with Winks and Delhi's performance, and they did absolutely nothing when they came on. But in a way, I don't mind that because the best way to learn is when you win. But they play badly, so at least Conte can re. At least you can't Conte say it was a bad performance, GJ. You know, West Ham, give them their credit. They've been excellent this season. They're organised. They're a team fighting for top four. You're not going to turn up and just smash them, as you said. You know, that's not going to happen. They're tactically sound. They've got great players. They can, you know, Declan Rice and Suchek, they're a top side. You know, to get a result against them, all right, sometimes you're going to be backed against the wall, but... I think you're, I think you're they're, unfair. They're a good team. G, GJ, you know they beat Chelsea, Liverpool, they drew with Man City and they beat Spurs earlier. Yeah. yeah. I, I'm, a uh, good team. Jamie, Dean, guys, trust me, I'm very well aware of the results they got because I hear it all the time at work. But, <laughs> right, trust me, I don't hear the end of it, right? And But all I can say is West Ham, I've got respect for West Ham as a football team because they're very well organised. But, if you actually analyse the way they play, they're a very average team with a brilliant central midfielder, Declan Rice, and a Marion Fellaini clone in Thomas Suchek. So what they look for are lateral, flea, uh, lateral free kicks and set pieces to get out wide, and then they just look to whip crosses in. If you, if you take out the aerial element, there's not a lot there. There really isn't. He's got them working it's and playing a, like a they're team. A glorified, they're a glorified Wimbledon. Oh, wow, oh, that's harsh. Wow, it's harsh. That's, that's harsh. harsh. GJ, what are you going to say to your um, your work colleagues when you go and you in tomorrow? Yeah, I'm in tomorrow. And I've actually, I've, I've apologised to them because I've said to them, I've, I've said to them all day, I said, we're going we're gonna to thump you 3-0. And what do you mean I've, you're apologising? You've won the game. You've knocked them I out know, of the competition. I've, they're gone. I know. I know. <laughs> Jamie, I know, but listen, I'm a humble guy, and I said to him, I said, lads, I apologise because I said we underperformed badly, and we should have smashed you. And I said, fair play to you guys for hanging in there. But um, I said, we, and the way we actually played in the last ten minutes, why we're backing off West Ham, 
I mean, my word, West Ham at home, they haven't got Antonio. They're missing a couple of other players. That, you know, like, you know, obviously they've got um, Antonio. They've got um, a few COVID issues as well in centre-half yeah. as well. They've got, um, I forget the centre-half they've got missing, Zuma. And I'm thinking... You know, we, we, Still we, a good we, side, we, GJ. Still a good side they are, West Ham. I think it's a great result. I wasn't so humble. Uh, the boss, Lee Clayton, obviously a big West Ham fan. I text him straight after the game. See you later, Muck. <laughs> you never. <Yeah. laughs> See, nobody likes a smug winner. <laughs> Do they? Yeah, but I've been taking stick off them for ages. They're the noisy neighbours all of a sudden, West Ham, aren't they? They're a good team. And we've and we've knocked them out of the competition. It's a massive night for Spurs. Come on, Spurs fans. I want to hear you. That Let's is a on. great win for Spurs. It's that a is. big result. It's against a big West result. Ham. It's like they're hard to beat. 